Welcome to Coco Sports. I am the huge one, aka the idiot Dave Coco from DaveCocio.com. We are Coco Sports on Twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports. I might have said Coco Sports too many times the wrong way. AEW, uh, we will be getting a review up hopefully within the next 24 hours. I'm just behind because I went to Shinjuku Face yesterday and shopping today and doctors and all that. Just real life. So just thought I'd talk about the biggest announcement here. AEW announced official return of CM Punk at Collision's debut show. And there was a pop at the arena. So... Hopefully it goes well. I am a huge CM Punk guy. I've been a huge CM Punk guy from a really long time ago. I even had his back in the UFC, but I, I'm even getting a little thin. I'm reading this off TPWW.net. Wednesday, the night show in San Diego, California, featured AEW CEO Tony Khan's newest announcement. Stop with the announcements, dude. Just fucking literally say it, Tony Khan. From Kenny AEW of AEW's new Collision Television Series. Listen, I know CM Punk and Kenny Omega don't get along and the elites and all that do not make a brand split do not make a brand split con announced that cm punk will officially be making his return to aw at their debut collision event june 17th at the united center in chicago illinois hopefully that will get you some new tickets uh they tweeted out june 17th cm punk is back aew saturday night collision prior to his announcement aew had planned for punks to return to the company to take place at their debut collision show punk was originally planned to be part of warner brothers discovery official debut announcement for a collision but all mentions of him were removed due to his issues between punk and aew over status of eight steals recent hiring to the company these issues had led to aw's original plans and location for a collision debut show to be in doubt until he recently resolved both sides this uh, will be Punk's first appearance in AEW since the past September's All Out 2022 due to his suspension over involvement in infamous backstage brawl incident. I think the world of CM Punk. I think he's one of the best wrestlers of all time, and I think he can cut a promo like it's nobody's business. I, If he's not going to have five-star matches, just get rid of them. I feel like the AEW roster is like a bunch of fucking teenagers that don't have the balls to run away it's like if i don't get my way out go to wwe all right then go Just go right now mjf go right now cm punk go right now ftr and then they turn into like a little bender and be like i'm sorry i'll be good it's like dude uh, shoot fabe I'm tired of. It's just, listen, AEW is supposed to be different. Records are supposed to matter. Matches matter. CM Punk, I love you with all my fucking heart, okay? I love you more than a straight man should. I think you're one of the greatest pro wrestlers of all time. If you can't have five-star matches, you are not worth it. You know, I, I read Dennis Rodman's autobiography, and he said, hey, listen, I became the best because I knew I was a pain in the ass. You being a pain in the ass only works if you're the best in the world, if you're Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, fucking random Christian Cage, you random WWE guy taking up a fucking spot, not having five star matches, then get the fuck out of here. Go. Go. I'm just fucking tired of AEW's fucking guy. Because they slowly but surely, it's becoming WWE. And AEW fans and WWE fans hate each other. Why? It's the same fucking product, you fucking idiots. It's the same fucking product. One has been out a lot longer and has more money. Outside of that, it's the same fucking product. They used to be different. Did you watch that pay-per-view? Vince McMahon himself could have booked that pay-per-view. So, listen. CM Punk. I will cheer for you. But if you're a shell of yourself and you're just cutting promos and you can't back it up with five-star matches, I have no fucking idea why anyone would keep you anyone that's it that's it like it's got to the point now it's like show me what you got because what's gonna happen in chicago is you're gonna go to chicago you're gonna get your fucking pop you're gonna fucking cut a promo you're gonna fucking do a pipe bomb and be like oh i fucking can't believe that the elite blah 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 yeah and then fucking it will be no match and then six months from now, you'll have a fucking match against who? Who? Who are you going to fucking battle? Listen. Just have good matches, man. AEW. Tony Khan, sit down. 
you are supposed to be different. You aren't supposed to be Dixie 2.0. You aren't supposed to be Vince Jr. You are supposed to be something different. Be something different. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. There's always one motherfucker in the office as soon as someone gains speed. It happened in Impact. It happens in every fucking company. Ghetto? Yeah, it happened to you too, buddy. Where someone's like, oh, to beat Vince, we gotta be just like Vince. No, you don't, man. CM Punk, cut your fucking promo. We'll cheer. But eventually, you're gonna have to have a good match. That's the problem with a lot of these AEW guys. Eventually, you have to have a good match. <laughs> right? Right? No? Okay. Okay. Um, I want the shoot fabe to go away. I want the bullshit to go away. And I want Tony Khan to be like, hey, if these guys ain't going to have great fucking matches, fuck them. Fuck them. Where's it going to go? It's going to go to Impact? Okay. Where's he going to fucking go? You think he's going to fucking hang in Japan? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to fucking G1 and fucking be out, what, in a fucking week? I can if that. CM Punk, just back it up in a ring. Have an amazing match. Don't fucking shoot on anyone. Don't shoot Fabe. Don't, oh, we're trying to fucking trick you. If you can have good matches, you don't have to trick us. The reason why we fucking loved you is because you said what we wanted to fucking hear and backed it up in the ring with great matches. If you don't back it up in the ring with great matches, go. I have no idea how Tony Khan kept you, but here you are. Now listen, I want to love you again. Just have a great fucking match. Just have a great match. Because we're fucking dangerously close to being a carbon copy of WWE. And that is not a good thing. And that's not a knock on WWE. You have to be different. AEW Collision, I'm going to look forward to it. AEW, CM Punk, let's look at the good. You're back. I'll fucking do something with that. And Tony Khan, don't you fucking dare have another huge announcement. And Tony Khan, don't think about doing brand, brand splits. If fucking Kenny Omega and CM Punk and Elite and fucking his gang can't get along, then fuck it. Fuck them. Be on separate shows. But if these fuckers <laughs> fucking do it, oh, I'm a collision brand guy and I'm a fucking dynamite guy and I'm fucking rampage guy, I'm going to punch myself in the fucking dick, okay? So, CM Punk, welcome back. Please have good matches. That's all that fucking matters at the end of the day. Like, comment, sub subscribe. What do you think of CM Punk returning? We are Coco Sports on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and the mean streets of Yokohama. With that, I am over. Hey, boy.